Legendary Gang. So it's all boys, man. It's about Legendary Donald back in the reaction. Now, this is a much shorter video. Now, I have been busy. I do not do this full time. Matter of fact, I barely even get paid on this channel. You know what I'm saying? I've really been on my gaming channel and I've really been doing school majority of the time, bro. But it's crazy to me that people think just because that press got his hurt, our chances of the Super Bowl are diminished. You really think that? You saw that defense, you know what I'm saying? Our defense is Super Bowl bound. Now, we can fix our offense, bro. I am promise you. I've seen a lot of teams this week that had offense, and I'm looking at them like, bro, if they can have offense, we can have offense. Man, call this, bro. I promise you, by the end, bro, people are going to be calling this, like, Brock Osweiler, you feel me? Payton Manning type vibes, bro. Call this Brock Osweiler, Payton Manning, feature, featuring Payton Manning. You feel me? Hey, man, you mentioned how I come roll 10K, bro. Super Bowl aspirations are not over. Thank you, beautiful bastards. For my Cowboys. It's time for another season of NFL Weekly Reviews. Featuring America's favorite segment, see what's Puppy up. Time. Football and puppies, you can't do any better than that. Oh, yeah. All the puppies you see in my videos this season were submitted by you, the fans. Without further ado, let's begin, shall we? Buffalo versus the Rams. Lord the Rams Jesus. came into September 8, 2022, wearing the crown and ended the day dead. What a stunning tribute to Elizabeth. <laughs> The real story of this game wow. is that that's crazy. It's essentially become a human polar bear that can fire 60 mile per hour pinpoint rockets all over the field to destroy defense. Nah, I ain't gonna cap Allen tough. Stafford is so shit it doesn't even make sense. The nigga's trash. With deceptively athletic strappy Jim Rat who forgot on a touchdown. But the second half was all Bills. Allen fired two touchdown passes and ran for another while Stafford Damn. altered, ending the game with three interceptions and seven sacks. Trash. To a decisive 31 oh, Jalen Rams is still Trash too. Baltimore versus the Jets. To sum up this game succinctly, a bunch of Jets got destroyed on their home turf. But the GOAT! The GOAT Jackson! That's who he was playing. And there's been a lot of people telling me, you had to be smoking a bunch of fucking kush. Sorry, excuse my language, I'm done cussing with the whole video. But it just pissed me off. People really think that Lamar is not comparable to Mahomes, bro. Look at the team Patrick Mahomes has, dog, compared to Lamar. Bro. Lamar about to show y'all something. You know what I'm saying? It's still going to be the, the Mahomes Meat Riders. I like to call y'all the MMRs, the Mahomes Meat Riders. Oh, he played the Cardinals. Where's the defense at? I couldn't name one person on the Arizona Cardinals right now on that defense. I couldn't. Maybe Isaiah Simmons. That's it. The only reason I know of him is because he's fast. Since the 2012 playoffs, has Joe Flacco done so much to help the Ravens win a game? The problem is that he plays for the Jets now. Current <laughs> Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson is nah, the Jets look bad, three bro. touchdowns and leading the team to a decisive win. That boy Lego Jackson, game. man. Look at that. Y'all tell me he can't throw. On Come on, man. He can do everything Mahomes can. But Lamar has now won 76% of his regular season starts. Pay the man, you fucking Thank you. Pay the best quarterback in the league. The one time Thank you. America wants to Browns to lose, they fucking win. For the first time since 2004, they begin a season 1 0. This is obviously a result of trading for Jay. Okay, I might even watch this game. That's crazy. I didn't even know. I forgot about that. Speaking of how relevant he is. Did he win? Oh, he lost? Leading Carolina back from a 20 7 deficit to begin the fourth quarter. Take a 24 23 lead with a minute left. Man, y'all better be lucky. I ain't reacting to this. I would have been on Becker Head. Get Cleveland into field goal range where something called Kate York boomed a game winning 58 yard field goal as time expired. Damn, Damn he made that? What looked at one point like a certain blowout win for the Texans ended up becoming the worst thing. Yo, alright, I just want to get this straight too. I know I'm pausing like Texan fans, please stop talking. Your team is bad. And I'm going to keep talking. I promise you, we can step out with the team we got right now. Still, we'll be off. Your team's not that good. You have no right to talk. You have done the same thing that we've done. You know what I'm saying? As a whole, I'm done talking. How long does the NFL still have ties in 2022? What is the point of playing 70 minutes just to not declare a winner? Just keep playing <laughs> until somebody wins. It's not that complicated. I think I agree on that, though. Living up to his first name, OJ Howard. 20 to 3, man. 20 to 3. He's going to 20 to 3 lead heading into the fourth, but then 20 to 3 survivor Matt Ryan led Indy back to send the game into overtime, <laughs> where he set up his kicker Rodrigo Vanderjack for a game winning 40 yard field goal attempt. But old Roddy Boy whipped. Badly. Houston got one more chance. How did he miss that, man? I think he got good. I don't know. 
Pittsburgh versus Cincinnati. On this very first pass of the new season, superstar quarterback Joe Burrow. Do not do that next week. Promise you. And honestly, people think like, you know, Pittsburgh couldn't pull away. Giving the four. All right, I'm done pausing at this. People think this is gonna be a free win next week. I think we got Michael Parsons, bro. Like real talk, we got Michael Parsons. All I saw from like, all you gotta do is blink Cincinnati. You know, we should we should be all right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel like we'll be all right. And we can just really run the ball on the Bills. Like I ain't gonna cap to you. Burrow finally got Cincy in the end zone to tie the game with two seconds left, but Pittsburgh blocked the extra point to send the game into overtime. That was crazy. You know, Jamar is him though. Jamar is him. How did he miss that too? I can't believe. He caught there. Boswell missed off the crossbar. Since he punted again before Trubisky set up a 53-yard game-winning field goal attempt, which Boswell made as time expired to give Pittsburgh a 23-20 win. Get me a cigarette. Green Bay. Hey, Sicey, man. I know you want to be Lamar, but you are not him, my boy. Aaron Rodgers has had throughout his career. One that has popped up in the playoffs repeatedly. Unless he's playing the Bears when Rodgers gets down. What happens when you've been a fraud all your career? He'll usually throw off one YOLO bomb. But Jay Jettis is him, bro. He He's nice. Then he becomes hesitant and indecisive the rest of the way. This He's a fraud, bro. He's not that good. He's not Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? Interception ratio from further harm. Last year we saw him vomit all over himself in Week One and still win MVP. So I'm not dumb enough to think Green Bay season is over in September. No, I know Green Bay seasons in the Rodgers era don't end until mid to late January. As for Minnesota, Justin Jefferson is a monster, as his 23-7 win proved. And I look forward to Kirk Cousins finishing the season. Oh, goodness, that's not happening. Touchdown passes and an 8 9 record. New York Giants versus Tennessee. Congrats, Giants fans. You finally won a season opener for the first time since 2016. Maybe hiring Larry the Cable Guy. The Giants won? Tennessee jumped out to a third. How was it Thursday and I'm just now finding out the Giants won this game? Huh? That's what I'm saying. Tennessee just needs to start Malik Willis, bro. Then Ryan Tannehill responded with a touchdown pass of his own to give Tennessee a 2013 lead. Which they held until the last minute of the game. Jones had his obligatory terrible interception and lost fumble, but he did come through in the clutch, throwing a touchdown and go ahead two point conversion to Barkley to take a 21 20 lead for the minute left. Tannehill then set up his. Yeah, looking like Saquon back. back. I ain't gonna lie, it's good to see. I thought he was washed. I ain't gonna lie. He failed to inspire Bullock the way Tom Brady inspired Adam Mentary, and Bullock missed it, sealing the loss for Tennessee. Mark my words. That's sad, bro. How you lose to the Giants? Imagine losing to them on opening day. Now, I know we did a couple years ago, but because we had. Justin Herbert understands a, a dumb can for a we receiver. We don't want to watch quarterback throw a bunch of pussy ass checkdowns. No, we want our quarterbacks to play like men. Goddammit! Fire that fucking ball downfield into tight windows for touchdowns. And boy, could Herbert deliver in this one. Man, I love Jay Herbert, man. I love Jay Herbert. That's my second favorite quarterback. The Chargers were lucky to hang on. No offense to Aaron Hernandez. Derek Carr threw three interceptions, but also threw two touchdowns, including one to love me some Jay Herbert. To make it 24-19 with four minutes left. Carr then got the ball. Back with three and a half minutes left with a chance to win. A situation he's surprisingly done pretty well in throughout his career, but this time it ended with him getting sacked by Joey Bosa and Khalil. I mean, look at bro, they, 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 they got a super team, man. That's not even fair. When Patrick Mahomes is on his A game, you really just have to bend oh, over. Gosh, bro. Uh, bro, is Arizona even going to make the playoffs this year, man? Four Cardinals defense had no chance. As Kermit tore the money. Damn. Niggas got no defense at all. 44 21 KC win. The game was really never close, as KC had a commanding 37 7 lead entering the fourth. You got the feeling if Mahomes really wanted to, he could have thrown for seven or eight touchdowns. He won't match Brady's rings or overall resume. But when Mahomes is at his best, like he was in this game, he's better than any other quarterback to ever play. And he's about to turn about Hollywood for half a career that year. Especially since so Diop to Miami Miami take drugs. It turns out that when you have a second year quarterback coming off of a solid rookie season, putting his development into the hands of Joe Judge and Matt. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Um, Mac Jones in a similar situation as Lamar. No receivers at all. You feel me? Um, no, Mac Jones, bro. You're not Lamar, but I feel like you can make you. You can do it, bro. You just gotta get used to it, man. You gotta coach, bro. Mac Jones, you can do it, man. I know. You feel me? We, we you aren't blessed like Mahomes. You feel me? <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you can do it, bro.
worries about New England's offense permeated all throughout the preseason and this dastardly 20-7 to loss just they need a receiver. Once Miami went up 10 nothing in the second quarter off of a fumble return touchdown, it never felt like Damn, they had a shot at any Jesus. This never would have been the feeling with Tom Brady at quarterback. As much as just an introverted Rex Ryan, Belichick can coach up a defense Wait, huh? as well as anybody, but he is clueless offensively. Tua had a nice touchdown throw and women's rights act. No, I ain't gonna lie. Damn, Matt Jones, bro, you had some moments where you just had me like, Mid, bro, did you smoke weed before the game? God damn, bro. Ryan is gone, and the Falcons still can't help themselves when it comes to blowing seemingly insurmountable leads. I know Cap Ryan did not watch his own. Indiana and Georgia gives a shit about the New Orleans Atlanta rivalry, but this game is the type of shit that makes great rivalries. Atlanta was in control for three and a half quarters, taking a 26 10 lead. I'm not gonna lie. I might, like, for real, for real, start watching these, like, after. Because, like, some of the games, bro, I just I can't get to. I have a life, though. No cap. Play and a very effective ground game. But then they shriveled up. Groping enthusiast James and then it was a 26 to 10? passes to slant boy Mike Thomas. But a missed two point conversion still gave Atlanta a 26 24 lead with 338 left. But Atlanta punted. Then Winston got New Orleans into field goal range to set up a 51 yard game winning field goal to take a 27 26 lead with 23 seconds left. Marcus Mariota then did it enough. Oh my gosh, Atlanta lost that. But it was blocked as time expired to give New Orleans the win. If you put Steph Curry on the Falcons, Yo, Atlanta, man, y'all is down. Atlanta won't Bad, man. Until every single person from that Yo, no, nah, they really are cursed, bro. This, 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 is, this is crazy. Front office, ownership, ball boys, water boys, the whole nine yards. Damn. Another game. I promise you. I was not taking 80 times to watch this game. I was sorry. My Jaguar fans and Washington fans, bro, please. I was not taking my time to watch the game, bro. Nah, if it was a good game, though, that's what I heard, but I've been scammed before. So, yeah, I was not taking any time to watch this, bro. I promise you. This was a game of runs. No offense to those battling explosive diarrhea. Washington had a 14-3 halftime lead, but Jacksonville went on a 19-0 run to take a 20-14 lead in the fourth quarter. Damn. Before Wentz led multiple touchdown drives to take a 20 20 I forgot they had Wentz angle on too. He, turned, he still turned the ball over. Game, losing interception. I got nothing personal against Lawrence, but man, the result. Damn, Trevor Lawrence, nigga, man, you might be a bust. I ain't gonna lie. Damn. Playing on a soaked field. Sheesh. All the females in attendance squirting nonstop at the site. <laughs> Bro, what? On the, the Bears pulled out an ugly-ass 19-10 win over the 49ers. Before the game, these two fan bases were bragging about which of their young quarterbacks were better, when in reality, oh my goodness. Suck. Justin Fields sucked a little less in this game, throwing two touchdowns, but he still I mean, it is in the rain, though. My boy Jay Fields going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? And Kyle Shanahan is now 8-29 and as 49ers head coach without Garoppolo starting. I do wonder how long Shanny will put up with Lance playing like shit when he knows Garoppolo is good enough to win games. Bro, it was the rain, bro. Relax. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Just relax. Like, he was literally the rain. We'll have to wait and see. Bears fans, you have one week to enjoy this before Aaron Rodgers tears you a new butthole on Monday Night Football. Philadelphia oh, Lord. versus Detroit. As an Eagles fan, I think I have a read on Jalen Hurts now. He bro, y'all allow 35 to the Detroit Lions, bro. Like, come on, fam. I promise you. Eagles have proved to me nothing. Like, that's not a good throw. Like, come on, man. Um, Philly has not showed me anything. Good Who did they play this week? Like got to be the real team. Although in this one, it got a little too close for comfort at the end. Philly had a 38-21 lead entering the fourth quarter, but they only won by a score of 38-35. And yeah, in real time, they really won because uh, two linebackers on the Lions don't know how to fill a hole. <laughs> we really should be looking at a Detroit win, but signs of Detroit, man. My cousin is a DC. You feel me? But, bro. Philly, really think they like that because you beat the Lions, bro? Like, come on, fam. I look at that. That DB, bro, on punk, man. Come on, man. was atrocious, which could be a major problem moving forward. Dan Campbell is going to have an incredibly long and successful career as a motivational speaker once he gets fired from Detroit in a few years. Tampa Bay versus Dallas. Did you know that Tom Brady is back for his 23rd season? Good Lord, I just came and I thought. <laughs> nah, he hates Tom Dallas Brady. had the number one offense in the league, but in this game, Brady's leadership and defense... That Super Bowl defense. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Super Bowl defense. 
defense in that mug. Was pretty pedestrian in this one. Not really doing much outside of one nice throw to Julio. For Super Bowl game. defense is what it's called, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Seven Leonard Fournette was Tampa's best offensive player, running for 127 yards. Mike Evans had a great one-handed touchdown grab on a shitty Brady throw, and Dallas never threatened in the second half of this easy 19-3 win for Tampa. To make matters worse for Dallas, Dak Prescott broke his hand and he'll miss a couple months. Dallas. Nah, for real though, prayers of that though. For a series note, game, but and we will still have to watch these assholes on prime time every other week. Please pray for me. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> your team's not that good either. You feel me? One, but two. This is going to be Brock Osweiler featuring Peyton Manning type year. You feel me? We still have, we still got the defense on the field. Now, I think we're missing somebody. I forgot, but somebody's going to step up. I think it's going to be, bro, I forgot his name, but you're going to see this week, though. Uh, we're still in this mode. Russell so. Wilson returned to face the same team he once won a Super Bowl with. Nobody will ever forget how he watched the Legion of Boom dominate a legendary Broncos offense in Super Bowl 48. As for this game, Geno Smith had one of the best days of his disappointing career, throwing two touchdowns and just three. Oh, all the smoke. The first half, Everybody can see that team got same energy. Paul, me. I don't know who the backup is, though. He's got to come, half, come to play. Only a Denver field goal to make it 17-16. But Wilson got the ball back with four minutes left and drove Denver to around midfield. We're on fourth and five with 20 seconds left. New Broncos said... Nah, Russ is still sad. I'm like, come on, fam. How do you lose your homecoming? Come on. Denver kicker Brandon McManus missed... I don't even know why he would do that. I ain't gonna lie to you. Love doppelganger Pete Carroll on starting 1-0. And now, folks, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It is with great joy that I present to you all Puppy Time. What's well, so everybody be sending this stuff, or they just like, or is this his dog? Okay. Must be his dog, bro. I can tell you, you know what I'm saying. You, you uh, got a lot of dogs. You must be a dog type guy, you feel me? But hey, man, um, Cowboys, you're gonna be all right. Everybody, relax. We still have teams like the Giants, no cap in the division. Uh, Washington, you didn't show me shit, bro. You played Jacksonville. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Philly, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all not trash, but bro, you know we smoked you by at least a combined 100 points last year, bro. Come on, man. It, it, realistically, probably like 40. I'm not gonna lie. Um, AJ Brown is gonna be a threat, but like, come on, man. You know, you gonna have time to throw the ball with Michael Parsons uh, in that backfield. But hey, we're gonna be all right, though. You feel me? Um, everybody relax. It's not over with. I know you may see you gotta have to trust your team. You know what I'm saying? Dak was, was it, it's, I pray you recovered, but bro, you was doing the same thing the backup was doing. And I feel like we're gonna be better prepared this week. Like you know what I'm saying? I feel like we rushed. You feel me? Um, but hey, this was actually a video I ain't really didn't rage on that much. You feel me? Um, I might actually start watching this because like I don't be having time to react every single game like I did last year. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, you make sure I come real to the case, brother. You know what I'm saying?